guys, Lane HD here today. So today I'm going to do a video on how to set up Kali Linux in VMware. Um, also, you can set it up as a bootable disk. Uh, you can use bootable USB. You can set it up in Oracle Box. I'm using VM Workstation 12, which you can get from torrent you can get vm workstation 12 on a torrent i didn't myself but there are ways to get it for free anyways we're not going to go into that so kali linux is basically an operating system pre-built operating system with in some cases pre-built operating system with tons and tons of tools that can be used for ethnical hacking so what i mean by that is it can be used to like it says here, for penetration testing, um, things like that. So you can check how secure networks are. You can check the security levels of networks, things like that. Now, before I go any further, don't, you know, if you're going to download this, obviously you're going to have to learn how to use it, but it is not just a felony. It is multiple felonies to use any of those tools on any network you do not have permission to. To download Kali Linux, you want to go to simply www.kali.org. And when you get here, you'll simply go to downloads. And here, <clears throat> you can download Kali Linux 64-bit, 32-bit. If you don't know which one your system is, get 32-bit. It'll run on both. Um, but not only that, so you can get it as an ISO or a torrent, so you'll have to burn it or mount it to a virtual drive or burn it to a disk to run it there. Um, not only that, but here you can actually get the images, is which is what I did. So this is what I got, the Kali Limix 64-bit VM image. So it's essentially just the image already pre-configured with everything on it to be run in VMware, VirtualBox, etc., etc. So VirtualBox is free. Um, so if you don't want to pay the money for VMware or get VMware Workstation from a torrent or something like that, just go with VirtualBox. I personally like VMware Workstation a lot better. Anyway, so you'll download it with whatever torrent downloader you have. I use uTorrent. Okay. And once you have it downloaded, you're going to have to extract it. Um, you can use WinZip because it's going to be a, I think it's 7Z file. So you're going to have to use WinZip to extract that extract this once it's downloaded. So extract it to your desktop or somewhere you know where it is. Okay, once you do that, you're gonna go to new virtual machine. You could do typical or custom. For now, we'll just do typical. Then you'll browse to where you have Kali Linux. Okay, yeah, so then you'll browse to where you have it extracted and what you're looking for is the .vmx, okay? That's what you're gonna need to use for the virtual machine. But anyways, what you can do Go here, go to where you have it. Let's get the VMX pulled up. So what you can do is just drag your VMX file over and drop it right here. And boom, there you go. So that's one way of doing it. Now, another way of doing it, like I was showing you, was to go through here, custom or typical. Custom, there's actually guides online you can follow. Okay, so once you have all that done, you're gonna power on the machine. And by doing it this way, the drag and drop, you don't actually have to install the Kali Linux itself. Um, it'll just already, it's, it's an image already made, so it goes right into the OS. So as you can see, it's already loading. And again, for when you first download it, default, you're going to log in as root, and your default password will be Tor. I'm not going to get into how to use these, okay? Um, I don't even know how to use all of them, but... I'll give you a general idea of how it would work. So let's say we want to run a password attack. We'll come into password attacks and we'll select one. So let's say we select John. So you're going to select it and it's going to load you into a terminal, right? <clears throat> and in the top, it's going to show you the different commands, command lines, you know, stuff you're going to need to know to use the application. So this isn't a, these applications aren't GUI run. They're all ran within the terminal. So you're going to need to know basic command line, you know, you're going to need to know your way around directories, you're going to need to know how to copy, how to move files, things like that, which doesn't take too long to learn. But before you jump into wanting to learn how to use any of these applications here, I would personally recommend learn a little bit about how to 
move around within the Linux terminal. Learn some basic Linux command, okay? Like the copy command, um, the ls command, um, the change directory, things like that. You're going to want to learn those basic commands before you go any further. Once you have those down, then you can go into learning about what these applications do, how to use them. But absolutely, before you get into that, you're going to need to know your way around the terminal and the operating system through command line. You're going to have to get a good basic understanding of that down. Once you have that down, then yeah, go ahead and start looking into each one of these and, and learning how to use them. Um, there's tons of information out there on how to use each and individual one, which ones are better than others. But as you can see, I mean, this is pretty awesome. It comes preloaded with tons and tons of tools that you can use now to, to check how secure a network is or your network or you know vice versa if you're going to be using this illegally then that's on you it's still pretty handy i wouldn't suggest that because you're going to risk being separated from a computer for a few years if not forever and face jail time but anyways it's all here this is a great great tool for white hat hackers this is and it's the best thing about it it's open source it's free but other than that that's it, guys. If you have any questions, just let me know. Leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave a like button. Hit that like button. Subscribe for more. And if you guys get any video requests, just let me know. Thanks for watching.